ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி சா அபவுட் தி ப்ரிண்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் வி சா அபவுட் தி பேசிக் இன்டென்டேஷன் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவு டு வி டிக்ளேர் அ வேரியபிள் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கம்ப்ளீட்லி சி அபவுட் தி கிரியேட்டிங் வேரியபிள்ஸ் அண்ட் வேரியஸ் அதர் வேரியபிள் ரிலேட்டட் பைத்தான் concepts so this is me again your wasan shanmugam please do subscribe to little sla youtube channel if you have not subscribed yet please like comment and share your questions and feedbacks in the comment section so let's now see how to create and how to work on the variables so python basically has no command for declaring a variable so then how do we declare a variable so a variable is created by the moment we first assign a value to it say for example if we declare a value a is equal to 5 so we have declared a variable and when we declare y is equal to little sla so now we have a value called little sla inside a variable b and then when we print a and when we print b let's see what happens here so here we can see 5 and little sla so let me just clear the screen for better visibility so now let's go to the next example so what we are going to do here is so the basic thing about python is the variables do not need to be declared with any particular type and even we can change the type after they have been set say for example we have declared the variable a is equal to 5 and b is equal to little sla we can even change its type so let's see how to do it in the next example so we will see the next example which is the casting so what is casting so if we want to specify the data type of a variable we can do that with the casting say for example if we want to declare a value of x is equal to string of number 3 we can do that so now we have a value which is x will be a string 3 and then we will try with another example which is y is equal to integer of 10 so the next one is we are declaring a variable with an integer y so y will be just 10 and then it's not just 10 but it's integer 10 and z is equal to float of 10 so here what happens is z will be 10.0 So this is how the casting works. Let's print all these three. So x comma y comma z. And let's see. So here we can see three as string, ten as integer, and the z as variable, uh, where z as float. So now let's see how to get that type of these variables. So here we are going to see. get the type of variable so most of the times even we see here we have we could see 3 and 10 here but we do not know whether 3 is a string or whether 3 is an integer so we will see how to get the type of it so for that we will have to enter print type of x so i want to print the type of x or i else i want to know the type of y so i'm giving this one and then i'm i want to know the type of y and then i want to know the type of z so now let's print all these and see let's see how, how it works before that let me clear the screen let me run the statement and here we can see the first one the x so let me even give this so the data type of x is then let me just copy paste it to the next print statements as well of 
Y and then for Z. So now this is going to be the first data type of X is string for Y is integer and Z is float and that's how we have declared it here. So let's now move on to the next example under the variables which is the single or double quote. So in our previous video we saw that we were able to print a statement with both single and double quotes and now, now let's see what is the single and where to use the single and double quotes. So strings, string variables can be declared either by single or double quotes. So we can declare any string variables using single or double quotes. See for example if we want to check that string 1 is equal to little la and even we'll try the other way string 2 is equal to single quote little sla and yes we were able to see that so let's print both of them so str1 and str2 and let's see what happens before that let's clear the screen and let me enter this and here we can see little sla and little sla so we were able to declare the string variables in both single and double quotes and let's now move on to the next concept which is the case sensitive so what is case sensitive so any variable names that we use in python are case sensitive for example let me enter case 1 is equal to 100 and in the same time I'm entering case 1 is equal to 200 so now we have case 1 with small with the lower case and case 1 which starts with uppercase and let's see what happens so what I'm doing now is I'm printing case 1 here and then again what I'm doing now is I'm printing case 1 at this location and let's see what happens so let's see how does it work so let me print these lines before that let me clear this and let me run this and here we can see that the case 1 on the top and the first statement this is case 1 and then when it comes to case 1 and the second statement it has been changed so even if I give the small the lower case case 1 let's see what happens so here we can see that this is case sensitive which means even if there is any uppercase or lower cases it won't affect the values so these names the variable names that we give here are case sensitive which means we do not need to worry about uppercase or lowercase so if it's different if it is a different variable names with uppercase or lowercase it is different totally different so it's very easy and we can remember that that python codes are case sensitive and no values will overwrite the uppercase or lowercase values So let's now see what are the rules for declaring the variable names and this is quite important when we come or when we declare the variable names. So these variables can have a short name or it can be of a more descriptive for example we can give us A or B or C or even we can give us employee name or age or blood group so any name can be any descriptive or any small characters or string can be given as variable names so this must start with a letter or an underscore character for example we can start at as a 
is equal to 1 or even we can start with underscore a is equal to 1 so this is valid and a variable cannot start with a number for example we cannot start with 1a is equal to 1 and this is totally invalid and the next one is a variable can contain only alphanumeric characters and underscores so if for example if i want to give as employee underscore age is valid but it cannot be employee dollar age so you can see here it is showing red so which means this is not valid so the val the variable name can be alpha numeric and only the underscore is allowed to be added in the variable name and then as I already mentioned these are case sensitive which means age age and age are different so I believe you would have understood how to give the variable names in here so we have discussed like what are valid and what are invalid even declaring the variable names here and there is the other way of giving the variable names which is the camel case so the camel case works like this so for example like employee age so this will work since this comes under the camel case and then there is another option for assigning values and let's see how to do that for example you, if you have three if you want to assign three values like mark one or subject one subject two and subject three and when we want to enter the values we can give it like 100 90 and 95 and in this way we can assign the values and when we print it we can easily print them in this in the order like so this is to give the values or we get to assign the values and this is quite simple so here we can see so we have assigned the values we have declared and in fact we have assigned the values here and let me print those values and see how does it work so here we can see the values are printed as 100, 90 and 95. So let me even add a break here. Since we do not want to get confused. When I run this statement. So here we can see 100, 90 and 95 has been easily or very easily been printed here so this is how we can assign the values to the variables and there is even another example where we can give values like where like subject 1 is equal to subject 2 is equal to subject 3 is equal to 100 and when we print them so let's see that how does it work I'm just copy pasting the same and when I'm running it and here you can see all these three are having the same value so we have seen how to assign mul many values to multiple variables and one value to multiple variables and this is how the Python variables section work and finally we will close this with one more example so here we are having an example where we have fruits is equal to we enter three different types of fruits which is apple and we have banana and we have cherry and now so so here we have an example of we have a collection of values in a list or a tuple and python allows us to extract the values into variables and this is called unpacking and this will help us in while creating any complex coding so so for example like we have declared three 
fruits which is apple banana and cherry and now what we are going to do is we are going to assign these or we are going to unpack these values into variables so we have we have assigned the apple banana and cherry to xyz and let's print them and see how does it work so let me print it i'm printing x and then i'm printing y and finally i'm printing z and it should work like the way it is unpacked printing fruits print fruits from unpacking and let me print and see how does it work and here you can see the values are declared or assigned in the same order which is x comes with y, apple y comes with banana and z comes with cherry and here we can see it is apple banana and cherry and with this we come to an end for this variables tutorial we will see with more examples in our next tutorial please do subscribe and watch our videos until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from asan shanmugam and little slaw